Good morning, my friends. Uh, happy Sunday to all of you. I really hope everything's okay. Um, for those who are struggling, those who need prayer, you know what? We all go through that. Please, I pray to God that He heals you, restores you. I pray to God that He encourages you today, that the Holy Spirit of God will help you today. And I pray really a blessing upon you, your family, your friends, and um, in anything, we all going through something, okay? But continue to believe. Do not give up. Do not give up. Continue to hold on to your faith and continue to believe in God, no matter what's going on in your life today. So I'm just coming to you today just for a quick reminder. You know, God is not desperate. He's our father. He's a good father. And he's not in a rush. He's not under pressure. He loves us. So the purpose, I'm just reading from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, okay? He says, the purpose of the commandment is love. You see, from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from a sincere faith, okay? And it's, it's there, it says, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. It says, now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, from a sincere faith. This is important because today or tomorrow you're going to be instructed by the, by the men of God, the women of God, the children of God, into understanding the word of God and being blessed and serving God. Okay? I just want us to know it's not about duty. It's about love. God really wants us to love him. So when he gives us his word, it's not for debate or strife. It's not for us to try and show off and prove that we know more. It's the motives behind God's words is love. The corrections behind God's love is on his word is love. So when God gives you the word, even he comes and challenges you, challenges your faith, he corrects you, instructs you, it's all because he loves you. The motive, because I've, I've been thinking about it, I had a good fellowship you know, with my wife and uh, with my, my son as well. And really, when it comes down to it, as we talk together, we really realize, no matter how much you know, if you don't love, if you don't care, none of this will work. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 8, he says, God is love. So the motive behind everything God does is love. The reason why you go to church today is love. The reason why you call to bless people is because of love. The reason why you have to love your enemies is because the love of God is in you. In, in, Corinth, in uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 5, he says, Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in your heart by the Holy Spirit was given to you. The love that we're talking about is unconditional love, it's supernatural love, it's the agape love, it's the God kind of love. So, it's not about having debates. It's not about arguing over the scriptures. The scriptures are not to be argued upon. We must believe the scriptures so we can live out the scriptures. So, if we don't walk in love, if we don't obey the instructions of God, if we don't understand that it's never about debate, it's never about how much you can preach, teach, sing, serve, but the love of God must be in your heart. So the purpose of the commandment, 1 Timothy chapter 5, ch chapter 1, I don't know why I keep saying chapter 5. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. The purpose of the commandments, I'll read it for you. The purpose of the commandment, the purpose, the word purpose, is the original intention of what somebody, what the idea behind, the motives behind 
That's the purpose, the motive behind, the reason why you receive the word, the motive of the instruction, the purpose of the original intention that the person communicating to you, this is what he meant, this is what he wants, this is what he expects from us, love. So the purpose, the original intention that God purpose in his heart, Because he is love, 1 John 4, 8. Because he is love. So whatever comes out of him is out of love. Not a carnal love. Unconditional love. So out of that, he corrects us, he instructs us. So he says, the purpose, the reason, the motives of the commandments of the instruction or the word of God is love or charity. Love from a pure heart, blessed the pure in heart. A pure heart is a heart that has no wrong motives. It's a heart that is set in seeing people as God sees them, without wrong, wicked intention. In Matthew 5, he says, Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God in everyone, in everything. Seeing God is seeing love. Seeing God is seeing what's behind God is trying to say through his word. So when you begin to love God, when you begin to demonstrate the love of God, you begin to love mankind. You begin to love the man and woman that God made in his image. So that's what the purpose of the commandment, the original idea or the intention of the word of God or the instruction is charity, is love from a pure heart, a heart that has no motives. So please, don't use the word of God to manipulate the children of God. Don't use the word of God to to mislead the children of God, okay? Don't use the word of God for for, 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 for money, for anything. Freely you give, freely you receive. So the purpose of the word of God It's for you to bless the people of God, to feed his sheep. Amen? So, so from a love from a pure heart, 1 Timothy chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 5. Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart and from a good conscience. You see, if your conscience condemns you, the Bible says we have an advocate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that's where the motives are. You speak to yourself every day because your conscience, that's what the Holy Spirit is telling you and correcting you. This way you have to repent. So your conscience is at peace. When you are at peace, it means you experience the peace of God. Okay? That's what Jesus brought. He said, my peace I give to you. My peace I live with you. So, so he says what? He says, love from a pure heart, a, a, pure, a, a, a good conscience, a sincere faith. No hypocritic, hypocritical. Don't be a hypocrite. Be sincere in love. Be sincere in your faith. Be honest. Okay? This is important for you. It's not about showing off. It's not about how much you can do. Be sincere. Don't be a hypocrite. A hypocrite is an actor. Okay? Be real. With sincere faith. And verse 6 says, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 says, From which um, some, having strayed, have, have turned aside, basically, to idle talk. The word of God must be believed. It's not about talking about it. It's living it. Okay? It's not about what we can get from God. It's about living out what God tells us to do. So the purpose of the word of God, the purpose of the commands, is to love from a pure heart. Because God is love. He gives you love in your heart so that you can walk in love. So please believe the word of God, apply the word of God, know that it's all about love, it's not about you. If you love God, you will love your fellow human. If you love God, you will love your brothers. If you love God, you walk in light and there's no darkness in you. Okay? And so I just felt like I give you this 
this short word today. Um, one of these things that I speak to you guys, it's, it's, it's because I'm having to continue to realize that it's not about reading, it's about living out, basically. You know, I have this, I have this uh, new job that I'm doing at the moment, that I'm working at the moment, and you get challenged. You know, you, you know where you have to apply the word of God, you know, with people sometimes who don't believe in God, okay? Uh, but you still have to be godly. You still have to be patient and kind. You still have to go beyond. You see, you, you still have to believe God for them as well because you are the, the, the epistle that they read. You are the scriptures that they read. The way they see you is the way they have to have an idea of who God is. So the way you love and care for them, the way they might, be, they might come to believe. You see, it's easy to go to church, but it's hard to become church. It's easy to go somewhere. But God is with you as you go, and God is with you as you come back. And God is with you right now. He sees what you do. He hears what you say to the Holy Spirit. So, you, we are called to walk in love. That's the essence of it. You don't walk out of love. You walk in love because God is love and he's in you. Okay? So, I'm having to apply this instruction with my, my staff, my colleagues. You know, you come to the point that you get challenged, you feel irritated. But you have to apply the love of God. You know you have to apply the love of God. You know the motives have to be love. You have to love your staff. You have to love the people who work with you, with whom you serve together. It's the same. And what, what helps me, what keeps me going, is because I realize how much Jesus Christ loved me and died for me. How much he went the extra mile for me. So I will go, I will, I will go the extra mile for my, for my staff. I will, be, I will go the extra mile for my boss. I will go the extra mile for for the people, for the customers. And because I know what Jesus has done for me. So the love of God become practical. What you do. You know, I like the word in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Thank you, Lord. It says, whatsoever you do in words or in deed, do it as unto the Lord. You see, now the good place to practice it, for me at the moment, is I'm a place of work. Because you deal with all types of people. But blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God in everybody. Don't worry. God will take care. We don't say you be gullible, you be stupid. No. Because I trust God, God will make a way. You know, we, we, we want all these catchy verses. and No, God will make a way as you stay faithful. God will make a way as you walk in love. God will make a way as you put him first. So this is practical. I'm finding it challenging, but practical and healthy. So I want to thank you today. I don't, you know, I was going to make a five minutes message. Then I said 10 minutes. Now I can see it's going about 14 seconds, 14 minutes now. So I'm going to close there. I want to thank you for your time today. Uh, happy Sunday. Um, but it's simple. Walk in love. If you can't, Pray to God that He gives you the Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit will help you to walk in love. May God bless you today. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.